Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising. A weekly tarot reading April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. And uh, as soon as I'm done here with the shuffling, guys, we are going to go to the spread. And uh, I would like to know your opinion about me shuffling in front of camera. For me, that is completely unnecessary time spent. You know, I can shuffle pre pre-hand and just go directly to the reading but it's all up to you let me know what you think about it in the comments uh, down below <clears throat> so capricorn is the first card which is marking the topic of your week that is going to be the tree of swords followed by the second card which is the challenge that you need to overcome here we do have the four of cups and then that is going to be the positivity out of the week or the positive aspect of the week that is going to be the eight of cups and the last one is going to be the guidance that you need to follow or that you should follow here that is going to be the Ten of Swords. So it looks like that you drew the small stick here, Capricorns. Uh, that reading, uh, which is the Three of Swords, followed by the Four of Cups, and then it is the um, Eight of Cups, and uh, finally is the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, it, it does look like that uh, faith or rather like the universe is going to come heavy on you guys. I mean, there is no, as much as I like to sugarcoat it with this follow up of Four of Cups, Eight of Cups to the Three of Swords. I, it kind of like looks rather a, a time of, of stagnation and disappointment due to the fact that the, the Three of Swords does represent itself in a couple of ways here as a topic. It could represent itself as a failure or rather like a, as a time where you realize that uh, what you are doing is either not productive or is dragging you backwards. All right. So it's kind of like... Um, Failure, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to say it really, but problems, it could as well represent problems which are setting you back, making two, making one, making one step forward, two step backwards with your decisions as well. And additionally to that, the Tree of Swords, it could represent that you could be hurt by words, meaning mental cruelty. Uh, being humiliated, you know, being insulted as well, and so on and so forth. In short, um, a long story short here, it will be beneficial for you to really coat yourself very warm here throughout the week because the week is not going to be easy on you at all. Now, the thing with the Tree of Swords is that should the mind fight with the emotions, the, the bigger the pain is going to be. So whatever the Tree of Swords relates to you, it is real, it is true. Tree of Swords is one of the cards signifying the ultimate truth that one experiences it could signify that you are to realize that your partner cheated on you all right or that this one doesn't love you or that you are going to be fired at your job and so on and so forth and that is the reality all right so you got to accept that reality you have to drink through it you got to sleep through it you got to suffer through it all right so you can heal through it so ultimately tree of swords it does point as well to healing that you are going to heal some major wounds but First, you know, you have to accept that these wounds that you are suffering are reality. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the death card. Formation is active neutrals and that is a confirmation that the positive change cannot happen in your life, Capricorns, 
unless you do you do recognize what you do wrong in your life right either into your relationship or either into your career as well if you do not realize for example that uh, if your partner is cheating on you that they have cheated on you all right so you accept it for a reality uh, you recognize you know that, doing, that you are doing something into your career for example and so on and so forth so you got to recognize the truth because here in this reading guys if the truth accepting the truth makes you free then what the denial of the truth makes you all right so answer that question for yourself what the denial of the truth makes you if the truth the recognition of the truth makes you free so big truth is coming in your way throughout this week is gonna blast you out you know some of you are going to be as well annihilated by the truth itself they're going to be devastated it will take time to recover you know but once you recover you're going to be much stronger than before the challenge here is the ignorance that we do have with the four of cups no wanting to recognize that probably your happiness lies elsewhere you know with uh, this card as the four of cups this represents a um yeah, it kind of like represents a additional either opportunity or a way of moving on forward here. But one is not prone to see it because one is way too stuck on the current endeavors that one have, on the current relationship that could be misfortune, on the current job that could be misfortune as well, on the current state that one is so desperately trying to fix where the, the place or the situation itself went beyond fixing so in order to overcome this card you need to have that acute mental alertness here to see is that your time in this situation is done and what you need to do now is just salvage it and move on forward which is the third card but before we go to the third card capricorns we do have the company of the lovers formation passive neutrals so what the lovers here point is that you have a decision to make all right the lovers appears itself as that decision making card are you be harmonious with yourself and do what is needed even if it is difficult for you to do you know to recognize the truth accept it live with it move along with it and try to uh, achieve a greater height for yourself even without that situation which is obviously you know not working out or should you lie to yourself delusion uh, kind of like uh, not lie but deceive yourself and stay in it hoping that is going to be fixed okay so that is entirely your decision uh and the challenge is going to be to make a a, a, a decisive move at all i mean you are going to be prone to stay in this state of limbo where you are to hope that things are going to resolve on their own accords it's not going to happen guys they will not going to resolve on their own accord unless like i said you do what is necessary by once again recognizing that what is happening is real and it's not gonna get any better you know if you don't do what is needed in there and uh, the positivity for you capricorns something positive here finally we do have the eight of cups so the eight of cups a long story short for you it does preaches that even though the current situation could be very hurtful painful and unsatisfiable should one move um kind of like move on from it new perspective emerges a a better better perspective emerges so you need to be capable to let go of doesn't matter how difficult it is the truth could be as well related that you may realize you know that you are uh kind of like throwing your efforts in vain and even if you're throwing these efforts toward the person you so much love you know you gotta put a stop to it and you simply gotta move on okay the accompanied card that is going to be the emperor and uh, the formation what we do have is passive enemies so a uh, very funky combination to be explained uh, here but it's uh, it's not going to be that difficult for you to move on with the emperor having i mean you don't have too much strings attached all right only thing that you got to do is just say okay i'm i'm not going to be part of this any longer and you just have to announce it that that it that is it you don't have any additional strings obligations or uh, responsibilities toward either the person or toward either the situation so the only thing that prevents you to uh, stray for 
for better perspectives here is your personal emotional attachment to the situation, to the person, to the endeavor, to the enterprise, and so on and so forth. And you have to be capable to cut those attachments, all right? You need to be able to say no. You need to be able to say this is going to be the end of it. I cannot go through this any longer and move on for toward better perspective, just like I said. So a uh, guidance card here for you Capricorns, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. So with this card, we know that that does not relate your home, all right? It does not relate your marriage. It could relate your relationship, but it does not relate to your marriage with the Ten of Cups. You can see comfort at home and with the people which are faithful to you. And as a matter of fact, you should do so. Additionally, this card points that all that it is happening to you here is for a reason for you to obtain a more personal independence, allowing you to, to exert a bigger control upon your life. And on top of that, should you do all this, guys, um, then the Ten of Cups points that you are going to evaluate yourself in the, in the eyes of those who actually does matter, showing that you are more than capable or more than trustworthy for whatever they will need you further down the road, either, you know, business proposition or a, a relationship that could form out of it. The accompanied card that is going to be the judgment, so the formation is a passive neutrals. <clears throat> and uh, with the judgment here, uh, it, it, f this card here points that there won't be any... Um, or you should extinguish any hope or rather like any idea that somewhere along the way, maybe in a couple of years, you can resuscitate that situation. With this combination here, it's, it's pretty much over, okay? And uh, with that being said, you got to seek a, like I said, with the Eight of Cups, a new perspective. Judgment is the wake-up call, which with the Ten of Cups resides out, with the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, as a passive neutrals, resides outside of your current hopes and of your current dreams, which will happen as soon as you uh, regain back control over your life, you know, and maintain your personal independence, seeking comfort with your beloved ones, either your family, you know, your friends or your husband or a wife, it doesn't really matter. Through them, you will obtain the strength to either to not just only move on, you know, but to deserve or rather like to strive for better. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for 22nd of um, April to 28th of April. I hope you enjoyed it as much as you can, guys. That's uh, rather many people will name it very negative reading. I mean, I get those comments. This is very negative reading. Well, it is what it is. I mean, you can't say that with the Tree of Swords, you know, you are going to, especially with the next follow up, that you are going to uh, prosper uh, ultimately and you're going to find your soulmate and so on and so forth. It's just, it's a bad, it's, it's unpleasant card. It's not even a bad card. It's not a negative card. It's unpleasant card. Every card in Tarot has a, has a lesson for you that you need to learn. And this lesson is rather rough, but it makes you stronger. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked the reading and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.